All right, it's Memorial Day, and uh, I just wanted to update the video so you guys could see all the progress that's been done on the house. Uh, start from the outside. This is meant to be compared to the video when we first moved in, so you can see how much we've done. There's the pooch paws. There's a bunch of stuff that's not finished, and because Jen just got home, we haven't really cleaned up, but I think you'll get the idea of what it's supposed to be. We're mid-project on painting some of this window stuff here so it looks nice, but you can see we already did the front door. Uh, Jen has done a lot of work here and is continuing to. This is the rose bush I got her for Valentine's Day, and so you see there's lots of buds growing on it, and it's good. We sort of went with a gold theme here. You can see that we fixed this whole door and put new hardware on it. This was a disaster when we moved in. But you can see now it's all nice and painted, it's all cleaned up. There's the doorbell, the door knocker. This thing was a mess when we moved in and I really think we've done a good job of updating it. So let's go in. It is hot as hell here. There's Rigel. Hi Rigel. Mom, you'll be surprised to know. I have a beard right now and a mustache. Won't you be happy to see all that? Hi, Rige. Nothing new here. You know, the shelf, the entryway, there's not really anything new or exciting. Here's this room, pretty much the same as it's always been. Um, it's a little bit of a mess, but what are you going to do? Rigel did not eat his breakfast today. Here's the exercise bike, and it's on wheels, so it comes in and out as needed. And we just leave the towels on it, because you always get all sweaty. Um... I think you saw this, but in the video, this used to be like a, like a, I don't know, shelves or something. So we turned it into the coat closet and that's pretty good. This office is same as it ever was. I think in the original video we were sleeping in this room, but now it's just the chaotic mess that is my office. There's the big TV. So anyway, I hear Jen upstairs. This is my chin up bar, which is important. Hi hey Jen, I'm filming. This is the Rigel bath bathroom. You know, Minecraft creeper on the toilet. You know, nothing too exciting. All right, laundry room has had a lot of stuff done to it since we first moved in. I think most of this has been shown. Here's our new rack mount server. And up here is sort of where I have all the server wires going in. There's the switch that will stay with the house. This is a phone switch, even though we don't have a phone line in the house, it's a phone switchboard. There's the, the cable TV switchboard. I don't know if you can see it, but that's all the different eight cable connections to the eight locations in the house. Um, and then the shelf wasn't here, so we did that. We've organized this, so it's all good. You know, it's kind of a mess, but that's now the sort of command hub of the house. All right. By the way, the battery on this camcorder is almost dead, so we'll see. I don't think in the original video that you're comparing this to we had done the carpet yet, so this is all new carpet. There's the slice of the grandfather clock. When we viewed the house, there was a grandfather clock here, so we thought it was appropriate. There's the doorbell, um, 64 different tones. There's these, some art. Here's the little half bath right at the top of the stairs. We had completely redone this. I think this video has been out for a while, but much nicer than the original crappy bathroom that was in here. Um, this is cool. So you can see in the dark. I'm rushing a little bit because I think the battery is going to die. All right, I should have shown you these downstairs. But these are the data ports we've put all over the house. Two TV for coax, a phone, and an ethernet. The house is completely wired now, which is awesome. It's a great selling point, you know. If someone wants to turn this into the living room now, they have TV up here. You can see this room's looking good. Mail from when Jen was gone all over the table. Uh, Mom, you always say we don't show you the turtle. There he is. And there's the algae sucker. And there are four little fish that have just been hanging out in there. Hi. This is a new thing. We just got that yesterday, so he's happy show you the backyard. Jen has been working out here all day planting, so it's a wet mess, so I'm not going to walk on it. But the gate used to be left open by the gardeners, so now it swings itself shut. And that white fence is our feeble attempt at keeping Rigel out of the flower bed, which doesn't work at all. He hops right over it. Kitchen, not too exciting. We put this in from when we started, but 
you know, the router lives up there because that's the central point of the house, so the wireless is strong everywhere. We haven't cleaned up from breakfast today. So, that's not too exciting. I think you've seen all this before. This is the pantry, which we've tripled the shelf space in it. But now, most of the changes that are part of this video will be going up here. So, you can see this is new carpet on the stairs. There used to be a big porthole right there, which we've cleaned up. Jen may be in the shower, so we won't be showing you the bathroom. All right, you'll notice that's new. This used to be right here. The light used to be here, and this was just a square that ended right about here. Now it's a full drop-down staircase. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's look in these rooms. So we've put all new doors on all the closets and all the rooms up here, because they were a mess before. Those are all new. We put the ceiling fans in every room up here, which is huge. This is Jen's office. You can see the data port that we've put in every room. Okay. And then this closet, it was weird. It had like a, it, it's kind of hard to explain it now. Now it's full of all of our clothes and stuff, but it had like a shelf, like right here, as if a kid used to sit in here and use it like a desk. And then it didn't have a closet bar, so you couldn't put clothes in here. So I put one of these wire guys in. I think that's how it should be, and that's good. Due to the lack of the closet in here, we were using the guest room here as the closet room. So the armoire was all full of our stuff. Now guests can put their stuff in there. This room has the ceiling fan too. And now this closet, oh, data port. This closet is empty for guests. So that's nice, we think that's very pleasant. All right, now let's look at the master. This bathroom we've cleaned up a little bit, but it has more work to be done, so don't worry about that. This is Jen unpacking a little bit. I don't know where she is. So the data port for this room is actually right back there behind the bed. I don't know if you can see it, but it's back there. So that's all done. That was a difficult one to do because I had to move the bed. And then this closet, which was a big controversy. Um, the top thing didn't have a full closet bar, so we'd sort of jury-rigged something together, and it sagged a lot. So I put this up this week. One big continuous bar, it goes all the way across. And then this is right over the stairs, and this was just an awkward space, so I built this shoe rack, and it fits every single shoe we own. So that's very good. I think that's very good. Useful. My little battery indicator light is blinking, so I'm gonna have to hurry up and show you the big project. So you can see the texture right here is a little weird, but the drywall and the ceiling is crumbled. It was a disaster, so I had to do something. So we'll pull it down. Now, up here before, there was a couple of random little plank boards that were down that were cracked and rotting. There was no electricity, no lights, no nothing, and there was no staircase. So you come up here, and you look right here, you can see there's a lighted switch. Turn it on, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a, a full outlet and everything. And now you come up here, there's a little room. Storage, it's all been cleaned up. There's lights up here. Here's the air handler. The air handler had to be raised about six inches so that the door can actually close under it. And I did that by myself with nobody else home. You see there's storage over there. It's kind of hard to see, but I've got a few more floorboards to put down, but I keep buying lows out of wood, so I can't do too much more. But you can just walk right over there. I mean, I'm up here bare feet right now. It's not insulation all over everything. Under this was the, the wires you can see for the ceiling fans. They're all properly in there. All underneath this is the data wires for all those data ports I was showing you. You can see where they all came up right here. It was a nightmare to get them up. But we got the power wire and all of the data port wires, and you can see we put a string in case we ever have to pull another one. There's just wires going from unit to unit up here, so we isolated all those. Our house is completely disconnected from everyone else's, which is good. Now there's a whole bunch of storage up here. I mean, tons of storage. Look at all the wood up here. I've just got tons of space now, which is great, and it's clean. Um, I don't know, all in all, it's good. Well, I'm at the 10 minute limit for a YouTube video and my battery's about to die. So until then, you can see down there, signing off. Now you get to see the tour of the new house, it's all good.